What up, Internet? This is Chris of Homecats, and we're taking a look at Robo Hero by Bravado Waffle. Yeah, Bravado Waffle Incorporated. Good for them, Incorporated? Um, I think I saw this game on Reddit, and it's available on iOS, and they did like a Kickstarter thing to get it going, which is like this thing for startup projects where you can get funding and stuff like that. So super cool, like a uh, way, to, way to do things. This is a really neat um, turn-based, move-based little tank game. Right now I'm playing the free version. There's a really cool campaign mode that you can do, which I probably should have showed you anyways, but whatever, that'll be like super fresh and you won't even expect any of the bad guys. Oops! Um, this is just me doing like the little arena mode where you can get started really quick. Um, it's like just tap to move that direction and then try to catch these little CPU bots at the right time. These computer tanks. Um, you have like a certain amount of moves, whatever that is, like 15-ish, I can't count that high. And you can move those amounts and then, or fire those amounts. Um, in the free version you do have access to like three different guns so far that I've been playing. And in the paid there's all kinds of stuff. You'll see some of the other tanks using like these crazy like laser beams and different stuff like that. And I don't know, I think if I, when I'm done with the, the campaign freebie stuff I'm probably going to commit. But yeah, um, here's me slowly plotting. Um, I thought about speeding this footage up, but I still wanted you to be able to hear the background and kind of like, you know, like get a feel for what it's going to be like if you decide to actually get this game for free. Isn't it weird that now it's just the luxury of deciding what games to get for free and then you can play it for free? And I don't know, normally I end up buying them when they're when they're good, but sometimes I walk into tank fire and then I get pissed off and I'm not buying your game. <laughs> I mean, I am probably going to buy it, but that does happen a lot to where, like, I'll be playing the free version of the game and then something bad will happen and I'll die and then get pissed off and not end up buying it. <laughs> That's so shitty. Not to developers, make your intros super easy, but no, I hate easy games too. You can't win. I'm not buying anything. No, I'm just kidding. One thing that I've noticed is that I don't review games, though, leave reviews in the App Store, but that might change. I got some uh, some big plans. There's another QR code if you plan on scooping this one up. It's pretty fun. When you actually... Uh, I don't even know why I died there. Did I shoot a bomb at him and then it bombed me back? Yeah, and then they start doing these late game mini bombs to where, like, it's a uh, sudden deathy. It's really cool. Check it out for yourself. Do the do the campaign first, and they have a tutorial. I'm sure there's huge key components that I'm missing as usual. One of the last RPG games, I didn't even know that you were supposed to click the power ups when it said power ups. Jesus. But whatever, I'm learning. Hopefully, someone else is finding cool games. Comment if you actually are gonna get this game. Seriously. Okay, that's it. And like the video. Phone cuts.